I thought this time I'd send you guys a video update so you could see what has been happening here in Medellin, Colombia, and specifically in Robledo, the neighborhood where I have the privilege of working. I want to take you on a little tour of how I go up to the neighborhood of Robledo each day, which is in a taxi or in a bus. Hey kids, if you see the red numbers in the taxi that keep going up, that's how much the cost of the taxi is, which is in Colombian pesos, the currency we have here. Medellin is made up of many hills, so in order to get up to Robledo, we have to climb the hills, go past the park, and go up another hill. This view is from our third floor space that we rent for the church where we have youth group, children's church, and recently we just started our first college class, which is very exciting. We had a good time. Down below on the first floor, we have kids club on Saturdays and regular church on Sunday mornings. Currently in kids club, we are studying the life of Jesus and many have never heard of these stories or they know of some other version of the story, which isn't always exactly true to what the Bible says. Sundays are going well, although we always seem to fluctuate in number and some make excuses for not coming. Please pray that the people would see their need to be in fellowship with others and praise the Lord in song and study his word together. Please pray for Peter as he recently started a new series in the book of Colossians. Many people here have questions about the deity of Christ and don't believe in the Trinity, so pray that God will use this series to get rid of those doubts and people will seek out the triune God. Bible studies throughout the week have been going well for the most part. It has been a joy to watch kids grow and one of them just accepted Christ last week. Because of the poor education system here and lack of parental help, some kids can't read so they feel embarrassed and don't feel like they can participate in study, but pray that they would be able to learn to read, but most importantly, that the inability to read wouldn't stop them from wanting to know more about God. Despite all these awesome things, these past few months have been hard as well. We've had to deal with false rumors about us in the neighborhood and an increase in gang violence again. So we ask that you pray for our protection and for the people of the neighborhood and that God would change the hearts of those who are trying to undermine God's ministry here. On top of that, we were just told that the contract for our church space would not be renewed unless we pay 50% more in rent. We pray that God would show us where we need to go. If we are to stay and maybe can negotiate a price, or if we are to move, He would provide the perfect place for us. So thank you so much for your prayers. Know that I am praying for you guys as well and would like to finish from Colossians 1, 9 through 12. And so from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in life. Thank you so much. And Max and I are very, very appreciative of your prayers, your love and support, and we send it back to you guys. Thanks.